Now, most people like to kind of go around. They go to Traverse Town and then go to this world over here, which only has... My dog's barking. My dog's barking. <laughs> okay. So they like to go to this world over here, which only has a two-star difficulty, instead of going to this three-star difficulty world over here, but... You have you have to do the gummy sip route again. It's basically a reverse of the same thing that you did before. And that's just really monotonous and boring, and I don't want to do that. Besides, I should be more not ready for this world anyway, so... You, you do get a warp function. Actually, right after you do this first circle of worlds, you get a warp function, so that you don't have to do that every time you complete a world. Um, you still have to do the actual gummy zip route before you go to a new world, but afterwards you can warp back to it anytime you want to. Alright, and another thing that they added in the final mix is actually a score system. You see it on the top right. That's actually based on... There are actually missions that you can do with the gummy zip in this version. I haven't bothered to do all of them, but... I mean, it's it's there for extra replay value, I guess. You get a trophy for completing all of them, so I guess that makes it worth doing eventually. But, I mean, I haven't bothered doing it. I completed like one by accident because they are technically all activated, and each gummy super out the moment you start them. I mean, I don't know. I've never bothered doing it. I don't really care to. This isn't going to be a perfect 100% run. This is just going to be me showing off all the boss fights and where the trinities and puppies are. But I think if you're playing on standard mode, you do have to do all this for the um, secret ending. So, I mean... Well, I could be wrong about it. I don't know. Another thing I should mention is that this game's difficulty trophies don't stack, so it's like if you play it on proud mode first, it doesn't give you the standard mode and beginner mode trophies. Which is really annoying for Retain of Memories, by the way, because that game, you can either beat that game really fast or really slowly, depending on how you play it, so... Yeah, that's just, that's just dumb. I hate how they force you to play for the same game three times to get a trophy that you should get just for being it once. Hey Donald, maybe King Mickey's down there. In a backwater place like that? No way! Let's move on. Hold on, Rico and Kyrie could be down there. Let's just check it out. Forget it, we're on an important mission! Just land. No! Come on! Ah, fooey. We're landing. Don't touch that! No! Good job, Sora. You screwed everything up. Alright, excuse me if you hear my typing. I fell for your house today. What did you do today? Oh, How did you fall for your house while I was recording Donald? video games and... Goofy? <gasps> Alrighty. One of my favorite remastered soundtracks of this game is this theme right now. This theme right here. Just because, I mean, you'll have to turn it up a bit, but you can really hear the guitars in it very well. Alright, you know what? Burn. Yeah.
Sabor. Danger. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is this place? This place, this place. Okay. Where did the others go? Look, I got separated from my friends. Have you seen them? Mm hmm? Friends. Friends? Right, my friends. There's two of them. The loud one is Donna. Huh? You know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends, Riku and Kairi. <clears throat> looking for Riku. <clears throat> friends. Right. Kairi. Friends. Uh, right. Um. He's hallucinating. Friend. Here. Really? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Friends, here. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan, go. And I'm Sora. Tarzan, go. Sora, go, go. Yeah. Awesome. Sure, hope Sora's okay. Ah! Oh, big some big good friends that came with Adam, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh okay. Tarzan showing us where we need to go. We just kind of jump to our doom, basically. <laughs> Alright, but before we do that, there's a secret. Can I reach this from here? If the game would let me jump, <laughs> I would be able to reach it. But whatever. There's a couple of items here you're not supposed to get until later when you get your, you know, navigating abilities like high jump and glide later on. But I'm gonna cheat the system here. And um, I'm gonna thank Cyberman65 for showing me this little trick. I mean, one of the. There's technically two of them that you can't get. That you're not supposed to get to until after you get your abilities. You're not supposed to be able to get up here until you get high jump, but you can just attack as soon as you jump. You have to kind of move forward. And come up here. This will take us back to where we were. Roll! <laughs> I love doing that. Alright. Actually, it'll be easier to reach this from here now. There we go. Alright, so I think you technically need high jump or glide to get here legitimately, but, you know, I'm a master jumper. Except I can't jump on this ladder for some reason. <laughs> Alrighty. I actually really like this world. I think this is one of the worlds that a lot of people who've played this game tend to hate, but I like it. The thing I don't like though is the optional minigame that I'm not going to be showing off because it's just really annoying to watch. There's another protect chain if you need one. Not like I haven't gotten plenty of those already. Now here's where you're supposed to have glide. That little boat over there has a treasure chest on it. And I meant to jump there, but you can just do this and it's basically your own makes it glide. No, 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 no. I missed. So I was moving the camera around. Alright, let's try that again. Not sure what I get out of that, but we'll see.
All right, and this is what I was talking about, how you get Disney character partners in the game. Um, I don't really use Tarzan that much. This is really the only part of the game where you kind of need him. Not really. You don't really need him at all, but he's just there so that you have a partner. <laughs> One of the things that I like that they did in Kingdom Hearts 2 is that they made it to where every single Disney-based world has a... Or at least most of them, there's like a couple that don't, but most of them have a partner with you. Like, they give you a partner. Words. <laughs> you know how I am with those words. Alright. Can I get to it from here? Probably something to try it. I'm gonna go back to the top. In Kingdom Hearts 2, they're actually pretty useful because they they give you these limit attacks, which are basically really powerful special moves. Really flashy quick time event moves. And by quick time events, I mean you just kind of mass X and triangle. Alright, there we go. A myth roll, so there's a... There's a synthesis item if you need it. Alright, but yeah, here's the sliding mini game I was talking about. After you after you complete the world, you can come you can come here and play this and it, <clears throat> you collect these um little fruits and if you collect all ten of them you open a new route. And that's basically all you do. It's just really annoying because if you miss one you have to restart the thing. But since this is technically just a shortcut to where we need to go, the game doesn't actually give you the fruits, so... But you get some useful items if you do it, so I recommend you try to do it at least once. It's not, it's not that it's difficult, it's just really annoying and tedious. You get power-ups, and I believe you get a rare synthesis item out of it if you do all of it. James! Tarzan! Oh, and who's this? James' uh, face hi there. bothers me. I'm... Oh, you speak English. So then, obviously you're not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? Highly doubtful. Sora! Goofy! Donald! A circus of clowns. Not much so, um, use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton, we're stuck. Why didn't them, not Clayton just them? shoot them? Research. I mean they're animals with clothes on. Well, but still they're animals. Maria, do make yourselves at home. Whatever. <clears throat> it's like he has a grudge against gorillas, but he has nothing against a talking well, anyway, dog and duck. Huh? Sora, In fact, look what we found. pretty much everyone seems to have no problem with this. Um, I'm not going to question it. There's a lot of things in Kingdom Hearts that don't make sense that you kind of just have to accept because, well, it's a cartoony game, so don't question too much, okay? Alright, so it looks like the king could be here because we found this gummy block. I'm sorry I'm kind of skipping for these by accident, but... Alright, we don't need Tarzan anymore. It's cool that they give you the option to use them if you don't if you want to. <laughs> Heck, I might put them back in my party later for the boss. <clears throat> Apparently Tarzan was raised in the jungle by the gorillas. Communicating with him still isn't easy, but he's learning. So he was speaking in gorilla back there, is Sora's butt talking to her? Okay. Ah, that's right. You're looking for your friends? He said Riku and Kai are here, and one word I couldn't understand. Why don't we try this? We'll show Tarzan some slides and see if he and see if any of them match what match that word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what happened to the slides? Alright. Pointless treasure hunt time. <laughs> we have to find the six slides out here in the camp. At least it gives you a incentive to kind of look around the camp. So there are some cool little easter eggs from the movie here. Alright. 
There's also recipe cards. Light the stove, be careful. Okay. So you examine parts of the camp and you'll find recipe cards, and I'll show you what those are for in a minute. Alright. Here's another one. I'm just gonna find all of them before we start doing the actual experiments. Alright. Here's one. I believe that's all of them. Alright. Alright, here we go. Starting the experiment. The potion was put in. After putting in the ingredient, ice it. Okay. Alright. Alright, you get two ethers for doing that. And another thing we have over here is the stove. Just light the stove. And close it. Alright. Potion is in the pot, and there you go, high potion. I believe those only work once, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> Alright, open the chest. Puppies! Again, not sure if they're puppies in the original version, it could be something else, but... I don't know why they changed that. I didn't... That kind of ticked me off when I first played through this version, because I was like, Wait, aren't there supposed to be puppies in this box? Why are there no puppies in this box? Why are there puppies in boxes? That's inhumane, but then again, apparently the Heartless are doing that. Or maybe it's Maleficent just being wicked. Wicked, because you put puppies in a box. That's evil witch. Okay, how many have I gotten so far? Alright. My mic even still on? Yeah, it is, because I can hear it. <laughs> Alright, so we have... Alright, we're missing one, and it's right over here, so... Is it... Yeah, it is. Alright. Okay, let's go back in the tent and look at these slides. Alright. A castle. What's wrong, Sora? What? Um, nothing. This place, it just looks so familiar. But how? I've never been off my island. Alright, and pictures that you could actually see in the movie. I actually watched the movie quite recently, it's a, it's still a very good movie. Alright. <clears throat> well, Tarzan? Where are my friends, Riku and Kairi? Hey, I thought... That leaves just one place. Young man, we've been in this jungle for some time now. Ah, the faces are so but bad. But we have yet to encounter these friends. Especially compared to the movie, the I'd animation is just the really Rulers, good in that but movie. Tarzan refuses to take us to them. Really, Mr. Clayton? Tarzan wouldn't hide. Then take <clears> us <throat> there. Take us to the gorillas. Gorillas. Tarzan, are you sure? Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Kerchak? He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. After all, the jungle is a dangerous place. <laughs> My little split mustache. I'm so... I'm so smart. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're getting ambushed by... Spore here. And he's still really easy to take down. Alright, hippo jumping. I've seen so many people suck at jumping on these hippos. It's unreal. Again, this game's not that hard. You just need to not suck at video games. Alright. I believe I should be able to get to this from here. Nope. <laughs> Alright. 
Alright, let's try to get our way done. I don't think you need a high jump or glide for this. You really shouldn't. Ah, crap. Ah, whatever. It's probably just a dummy up there anyway. I don't need it. Alrighty. Yeah, I, I still don't have a comment for that animation there, you know. No need to have a comment. <clears throat> Kerchak, please listen to me. I know the <coughs> nesting grounds are secret, but I trust them. You see, I want to help them. He's speaking in Grower because, right now. Because, well, they need us. Oh, did you get that? No! Kerchak! <laughs> Kerchak! Blinking from my headset is really annoying. Ooh, I didn't unplug it by accident, did I? He seemed sort of distracted by something. Was he looking toward the treehouse? It's funny how the text box is kind of cut off there because the widescreen. The game actually like zooms in during the cutscenes if you haven't noticed. Because the cutscenes were letterboxed in the original PS2 version, but when you're playing in widescreen now they zoom in on it. <clears throat> Alrighty. <laughs> that bullet sort of fit him like two seconds ago, but whatever. Wait, Kerchak, please. Behold, Tarzan's right butt cheek. You don't understand. I was only trying to. Uh, a <clears throat> snake slithered by. You see, I saved that poor gorilla's life. Yeah, sure you did. Alright, now we just head back to the camp. And we're gonna do it from this side instead of the other side. Here, this actually takes you to a different area. Hey, buddy. Here to do battle again. Alright. And you get fixed 15 e EXP each time you do that, so it's useful to find him whenever he shows up. It's not like he's that hard. Now, that first time we fought him, it was actually an optional fight. So if you lost it, it was no big deal, but... I mean, you really shouldn't lose it. It's not as hard, it's not as hard as Leon in the beginning. Leon's the only really tough. Well, no, there's one more optional fight that you can pretty easily lose if you're not very good at the game. <clears throat> Now, Miss Porter, as I told you, I was not aiming at the gorilla. You are not to go near the gorillas again. Your face is creepy. Or because of one mishap. And it's creepier in this version because they updated the models. Mm -hmm. So it's like... Oh my god. <laughs> you came to the wrong neighborhood, neighborhood bro. See, now they're animating his face. 
What am I doing with these imbeciles? Blasted gorillas! I'll hunt down every last one of them! I'll track them down somehow. I'll stake my life on it. That animation there that lasted like 10 seconds cost him like $10,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs>